Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, I hope that you've had a very productive week. Uh, even if you've had a challenging week, I hope that you gain some uh, sense of understanding or you gain some new knowledge or some strengths and at the very least you gain an understanding of what not to do and you're consistently moving forward. I am excited about what I'm going to share here with you this morning. Uh, I've got a, a good, uh, powerful, inspirational message. It's going to be short and to the point, but before I do, I've got something I'm extremely excited about. Like I told you guys last year, when we started last year, I told you that I was going to be doing everything I could to touch one million lives. Hello, Tanette. I was going to touch one million lives last year. We did it. We did it through social media. We did it through uh, book sales. We did it through public speaking. We did it through all the different avenues that, uh, and uh, platforms that I have. Hello, Precia. Uh, uh, we did it. It was tough towards the end because one of our primary uh, platforms was pulled from us, but we still got it done this year. The goal is to touch 2 million, to double down on that, to touch 2 million lives. I believe that when you make it your point to serve, to reach and touch people, everything else will take care of itself. When you find a way to give out and touch and give, that's why I give so much free content. It's because in touching lives, that comes back to me. It may not come back to me from the people that I share this free content with, but it definitely comes back. So I'm, I'm excited now because we just launched this morning the 30-day uh, day challenge. It's called Your Best Life 30-Day Challenge. Now, this isn't a normal 30-day challenge. You can do it on your own if you want to, but we're, I'm inviting you in to do it with me. I've identified something that I want to change. You can change something no matter what it is in 21 to 31 days by setting a plan for setting a ritualistic behavior uh, that you will stick to for those 30, 21 to 31 days and you create new habits. The difference between successful people and people who aren't successful are the habits. And so I've identified a habit that uh, actually I want to create and that is networking. Uh, I'm a great communicator. I'm a person that would probably uh, define myself as a highly functional or socially functional introvert. If I had it my way, I'd still I'd sit up and I'd chill with close family members, spend time by myself, spend time with my wife, my family, uh, and I'll be good. Uh, but I am very good with large crowds. I'm very good with interacting with people. It's just not what I naturally do. Well, the thing is, for me to take everything I need to do to the next level, I've got to start building relationships. So a lot of these people that reach out to me that I just, hey, how you doing? Have a great day, blah, blah, blah. I've got to start actually listening to what they're saying and giving attention to it. A brother reached out to me this morning. <laughs> he said, hey, man, I reached out to you last night. Last year, I didn't hear back from you. I know you're busy, but I want to reach out to you again. And so I responded. So that's going to be my thing I'm going to work on in this 30 days. Uh, but we've got to develop good habits. Uh, so what I'm actually doing in the 30 day challenge is I'm inviting 25 people to go through this with me. And 25 people, it is $99.95. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get four sessions, one session per week. One session per week. Uh, and, and those who know, matter of fact, I have one of my platinum members on here. He's probably looking at me, what? Four sessions for 100 bucks? Because she's a platinum member. My platinum packages are $10,500. She's on here now. She's probably going, what in the world? Um, hey, Kim. Uh, it's not the same thing. It's not as depth, but it is intense. And it is for a purpose. I've got to reach more people. I've got to touch more lives. And I want people to get this 30. Plus, in this 30 days, you're going to get to see what it's like working with me. You're going to see what it's like to have a specific plan set out for you that's made specifically for what you want to do and someone that is going to walk you through it, help you identify uh, the things that may be causing you to procrastinate. And so you're going to get four sessions. That's not it. You're going to get a personal plan. We're going to sit down the first day uh, before we start. And, uh, and we're going to get an understanding of what it is that you think of doing. We're going to find that one thing that we can change that's going to have the biggest difference in your life. And we're going to set a plan to do it. And we're going to monitor it. I'm going to hold you accountable. Uh, I'm going to keep you guys abreast of what I'm doing and how my, 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 my changes are coming along. But uh, the other thing is you're going to get a free disc assessment. A disc assessment is huge because it allows you to gain an understanding of how you naturally do things. Some people are very assertive. Some people are introverts. Some people are compliant. Some people love to jump outside of the box 
And if you're trying to do it some other way because you saw someone else do it that way, but that's not how you're built, you're taking the long way around. You work your strengths, not your weaknesses. Yes, do you need to improve your weaknesses when we get a chance, but you focus on your strengths because your strengths are attached to your gifts. And you're gonna use your gifts to get where you're going. But we're gonna talk about all of that. And then here's the biggest thing. We all, I'm, because of the time uh, restraints that it creates, I'm only going to be accepting 25 people I want to get all 25 of them today, and so to sweeten the pot, I am creating a lottery. Once we hit 25, I will pull a name from the purchasers. Now, this is important to understand what I'm saying when I say purchasers. The purchasers may not necessarily be the person holding the, the, the actual uh, sessions or the actual package, because you can buy it for someone. You can buy it for whoever you want to. You may want to buy it for your child. You may want to buy it for a friend. You may want somebody to go through it with you. Um, and so you may purchase three. Well, here's the thing. If you purchase three, all three of those goes under the purchaser's name. After we reach 25, I'm going to pull one name from all of the purchasers, and I'm going to gift them a one-year platinum package. That's 52 sessions intense breakdown run down the whole thing that's the biggest thing i offer right now for individuals um, and it is for one year 52 sessions and i'm gifting that to somebody out of this out of this bunch so for 100 dollars, you get four sessions and to, get, to gain an understanding of you know the value of that one session one session of counseling consulting or whatever is 350 dollars now, those numbers go down when I do packages because people are buying in volume. But just one session is $350. You're getting four sessions for $99. And you're going to get four sessions, a personal plan designed for you, a disc assessment, and your name thrown in to maybe be the person who receives the one-year platinum package. If you know somebody who will benefit from this, everybody needs to grow. And I do these assessments often where I look at myself and say, okay, things are slowing down, things are getting a little stagnant. Let's stop back and take more than just the glance at myself. I look at myself every day and I say, okay, where were you at this time last year? And I can go back and I can look. I can read my notes. I can read my journal. I can read a bunch of things and see where I was mentally, emotionally, psychologically. I can look at my financials and tell where I was financially. And so I look at and say, okay, this is where you were. You've definitely grown. Keep moving. Sometimes you look up, and even though you are grown and you've moved past where you were last year, you're not moving at a rate that you know you should be. You're not where you know you should be, and you know that it's only on you. And so you have to take a more deeper, introspective look. And so I looked at it, and I said, I cannot get to the next level without building more relationships. So that's gonna be my habit now, is actually being more engaging, being more receptive, and talking to more people uh, with the purpose of building relationships. Not necessarily intimate, close circle relationships, but relationships that allow me to connect with people who have like minds, who have an idea of what's going on, who can look at what I'm doing and I can look at what they're doing and we can be mutually beneficial to one another in getting some things done. So that's my goal. That's what I'm going to do. Whatever your goal is, you've got to develop positive, powerful, successful habits. There are, there are habits and patterns that go along with success. Success always leaves clues. And so that's what I'm going to do. So uh, when I get off of here, you can uh, email me directly. And uh, that, you know, there's no link to it because I'm doing this directly and personal. This is me and you. You're going to email me. Uh, I'll either, you can either pay over the phone, uh, you can call and pay over the phone, or I can send you an invoice and you can pay with your card uh, through the invoice. And when you pay, I sign you up. And I'm trying to get all this done because I want to get my month of March booked because this is going to take place in March. I want to get it booked. I want to get it ready. Uh, I want to know what I'm dealing with, what date I'm dealing with it, and all of this stuff so I can have everything taken care of because I'm already on a busy and hectic schedule, but I'm doing this. So you can email me at CEO at rickwallacephd.link, that's L-I-N-K, or you can call me at 281-714 seven five five one and leave a message because i probably will not answer i get so many phone calls but if you leave a message i will check the message i will get back with you we will get you set up again for 99.95 four sessions 30 days creating a new habit that will lead to a more successful and fulfilling life 
Uh, it's the 30 day challenge. It's the my better life or your better life 30 day challenge. I'm challenging you to step up. I'm being, I'm willing to be a part of it right now. If uh, uh, you, you sign up, you will be in a lottery to win a platinum package. That's 52 weeks working with yours truly. 100% free. That's a $10,500, um, $10,500 um, value. There's a platinum member, a platinum member on here. You can ask her, Kim, you know, how it is working with me, what, whatever she wants to share with you, she can share with you. Uh, it's confidential unless she decides she wants to talk about it, but she's here. She's always saying, hey, I don't mind talking, so you can talk to her. Now, let's go ahead and get on to what I actually came to talk to you about. Uh, a long time ago, probably, maybe I was 19 or 20, and you know, I had the world in front of me and I'm sitting there and I'm wondering, you know, how life is going to go. I've got a pretty promising future in a, in a number of different ways I can take things, you know, uh, and, and I'm trying to figure things out. And a guy asked me a question and surprisingly enough, with all the people that have been influential in my life, positively influential in my life, um, I had never been asked this question, not that I could recall and not in this way. He said, and it was real simple, and you've heard it a million times probably, but at that time it was new to me. And, it, it, and the question was, where are you going to be in five years? Where do you want to be in five years? And it's crazy. And I started to think, wait a minute, where do I want to be in five years? And it did a couple of things to me because he didn't he didn't stop there. He says, what what do you not want to happen in five years? And immediately I start to rattle off all these things I didn't want to happen. I didn't want to go broke. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do that. I didn't didn't. And it's amazing how easily I automatically snapped into this mode of the things I didn't want. He say, OK, now specifically, what do you want? And the whole energy changed. And the whole speed of the conversation has changed. Why? I had to stop. And the thing is, if you think about it, if you ask somebody what they, what they don't want, most of the time they got this long list of what they don't want. You know, they don't want to lose their job. They don't want a divorce. They don't want, they don't want, they don't want. They can name all that stuff they don't want. But when you stop and say, okay, now what, we, we know what you don't want. And you stop them and you say, okay, what do you want? And then... He goes, well, that's an interesting question. Why are they doing it? Because they really don't know what they want. They haven't given any time and consideration to what they want. They know what they don't want. And, and I heard someone explain it this way. Going through life knowing what you don't want, but not knowing what you do want, is like jumping in your car and going 100 miles an hour knowing you don't want to go to Florida, you don't want to go to Georgia, you don't want to go to California, but you don't know where you want to go you're gonna end up nowhere and out of gas because you didn't have a destination in mind. You didn't have a clear destination of what it was you wanted to do. But he asked that question. The other thing that it did was even bigger than me. It, for the first time in my life, took me out of the moment and made me look beyond where I was and what I was going through. It taught me one of the most powerful principles that I consistently use today and I teach my clients that there's something beyond now and that if there's something beyond now whether now it's great or now it's horrible when you know something is beyond now you have the ability of being able to sit up and know you've got something to work toward you've got something to plan for you got something to strategize for and you know that you can build it but if you don't know that there's something beyond now. Whether it's a year from now, three years from now, five years from now, where do you want to be? It doesn't mean that things won't happen and that there may be a change of direction that you choose to take. What it means is you need to have a sense of purpose, a sense of understanding, a sense of being able to set a goal and knowing where you're going so that you know when you're off bearing. When you don't know where you're going, you don't know if you're off bearing or not because you have no idea where you're going. But when you sit up and you say, hey, where do you want to be in five years? I mean, what do you want to be in your relationship? What do you want to be in your marriage? What do you want to be in your finances? What do you want to be in your job, in your business? Whatever it is, where do you want to be? Because that's the first start. That's where you start. Okay, and where you want to be should always be so much further ahead than where you are. You know, I heard Will Smith say that set your goals so huge that you got to become 
the person who's capable of doing it, that you haven't even become that person yet. We normally set these comfortable goals. Why? Because we've got to be able to see them. And see, seeing them doesn't require faith. faith. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. We're not even using faith until we've made them so big that we can't see them. We talk about faith, but we act in reason almost all the time. So here's what I'm here's here, here, here here's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Here's what I'm trying to get you to understand. You've got to look beyond today. Don't ignore today. Understand that what you're dealing with today has to be dealt with. You've got to deal with it. But don't be so consumed with the day that you don't set up tomorrow and next week and next month and next year and five years from now. Don't let be your consumption or your, 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 your immersion into the moment keep you from setting up something better. That's called survival. And when you're survival, you end up being in survival. You survive the day, but then you wake up in the next day and have to survive it because you didn't plan for it. You didn't work for it. You didn't set things up for it. So now you're in survival and you do that day after day after day and you look up and it's year after year after year and you're still in survival because you only planned and on dealing with what you had to deal with that day. You got to deal with that, but you've also got to have an idea of where you're going. So you spend a part of your day working towards something different, something greater, something better. You've got to develop it. And that's what that whole 30 day challenge is about. It's about understanding what you're going to need to be in order to be the better version of yourself. And you take it one step at a time. Don't try to change it all. Find one thing that's going to be impactful. And for 30 days, you work on it. You hammer on it. You, 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 you commit to it and you get it done. But if you don't know, I mean, when I was asked that, I'm like, well, I don't want to be five years from now. You know, I mean, coming up from the inner city, you know, uh, dealing with all the things you deal with and see and all that, you know, hey, man, I want to be alive, you know. But but more than being alive, what do you what do you want to be? What do you want to be known as? What do you want to do? And I want to be a businessman. Uh, and so that's where it started. Say, OK. And he became my business mentor. He became a person that taught me the ins and outs of businesses, the basic business principles that's going to apply no matter what business you're starting. And it allowed me to do some unbelievable stuff and, and, and get through some things and do some things in life that most people will simply not do. It also allowed me to learn a little bit more about myself and how you can overcome things, not only in starting businesses, but being an author. And being an author, I've written thousands of articles, literally. I've written even thousands of more for other people as a ghostwriter. I've written books as a ghostwriter. I've written scholarly papers. Uh, but I have uh, written 21 books that are published, 21. And I remember being told the first book. It's written great. Uh, it, it, it's very informative, but we don't think it's an audience for it. We don't think that we would be able to uh, market it and really get anything out of it, so we're not going to publish it. I didn't hear that once. I didn't hear it twice. I didn't hear it three times. I heard it at least four times, but I didn't give up. I had one of them that was willing to say, okay, if you pay us, we'll do the content editing, we'll do the graphics, we'll do all of the stuff, and we'll get it to print but you'll be responsible for it after that. You'll have to publish it. You'll have to get it to distribution. Got it. And then it, it started. And I ended up actually starting uh, Odyssey Media Group and Publishing House. It was just Odyssey Media Group. It was everything was media. And then I made this the second part, which publishing is also media. So I made it a publishing house. And now I not only do it for myself, I help other authors as well. But it starts with just simply knowing what you want to be and not being willing to, not accepting no as a final answer. If I've got to do it myself, I'll figure it out. But if I set out to do it, I'm going to get it done. And, you know, it takes an understanding of where you're at. So you've got to be able to see beyond tomorrow. you got to be able to see beyond tomorrow. you got to know what it is you want. Make a decision. Make a, make, make, make a point. The thing is, you can always change it for something different, for something better. Uh, but make a choice to set a direction and a destination so that you know where you're traveling. On that note, I've got to get ready to get out of here. Don't forget to sign up. I only, I'm only taking 25 people. Sign up today for the 30-day 30 30-day uh, 30 Your, Be Your Better Life 30-day uh, challenge. Uh, it's four sessions, a personal plan, disc assessment, and to be entered into the lottery for a platinum uh, platinum uh, coaching package, which is 52 weeks, an entire year, uh, 
free crisis sessions in that where, where if you have them having a moment you can contact me even if it's not your scheduled time and we do that no extra charge and we build a plan we do all the stuff you heard about here and a lot more and you can talk to somebody who's on here she's still on here about you know how it's worked out for her so far but to get it for free is uh, um, not not something that happens uh, every blue, blue moon I have an old club customer that's from, from years ago that comes and he does uh, what he calls like a uh, scholarship where he'll do a match scholarship or he'll pay a scholarship for somebody but to sit up and say hey I'm giving this away means I'm really truly trying to reach out to people and trying to help and this 30 day session is going I mean this 30 day challenge is really going to open you up to a possibility like I said one of those sessions would normally cost you 350 I'm giving them all to you plus everything else 9995 reach out to me 281 714 7551 or email me at CEO at rickwallacephd.link. I'm going to put all that in once I actually get off of here. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I didn't put it in right uh, when I was uh, getting ready to start this live. I'll be coming back to you throughout the day, giving you an opportunity. But here's a chance. Take it. I look forward to working with you. Have a great day. Kim, enjoy your weekend. We'll talk uh, hopefully next week.